Good morning. It's uh, Sunday, June 24th. I'm uh, feeling better this morning. Times are gone. Just still a little bit just drained-ish, but for the most part better. And um, when I got things ready, uh, got the crock pot out because I have over the last day and a half defrosted the chicken. I got that chicken ages ago, did some barbecue chicken, but I got it from Sam's, so there was twice as much as I needed, and I've had it in the freezer. Been needing to use it. So I got that out. Um, I got green onions and jalapenos. I got soy or teriyaki sauce. I got a uh, minced garlic, uh, crushed red pepper, chicken broth, so that I can make sure that after whatever I put in there that it's actually in liquid, and then just some salt and pepper. And I figure that'll be good. Not a, I, I have no recipe. None whatsoever. I'm just throwing stuff in the crock pot and gonna cook it up and see what kind of chicken comes out. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so I made a pretty pretty level layer there on the bottom. Um, some teriyaki sauce on there first and then cut up some vegetables. Alright, so I got a couple of those green onions, a couple of jalapenos. I'm gonna dump that all around this. Wonderful. Um, Okay, uh, pretty much some soy sauce, minced garlic, crushed red pepper, a little salt and pepper. Let's get all those in. And otherwise, um, I also added a little bit of oil, but I got the chicken broth, and it's low sodium since I added a bunch of soy in there. And basically, I want to a little more. I'm not quite covering it. And I'm gonna stop there. Um, and use like a fork and try and push anything down that I can. But I know a lot of that's gonna release juices as it cooks. I know that this time. So I'm not gonna completely cover it because uh, the you know obviously the more liquid, the more liquidy it is in the end. And there she goes. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. <laughs> I had no recipe, nothing. But if you're starting my day, let's get the crock pot going, get that chicken cooking. Um, and, and now, I'm going over to my mom's, we're gonna meet up, and there is a flea market, and I haven't been to a flea market since I was, like, probably in middle school, we're gonna go to a flea market. Fun! And the flea market just sort of continues way on down. And up the hill. It's over here. And I have vague memories of this. Like, I remember there being like the separate hill section. Uh, I was probably in middle school the last time I, I was here. But I remember there being like lots of produce kind of things that were up there. And so that was the boring part. And, uh, but otherwise, I mean, obviously now I see that, it's, I mean, again, it's been, what, probably 15 years at least, so. It's been a while. Uh, probably a little more than that, but. It's because we don't ever want to miss church. You know, it's a big deal to miss church. But we can do that every once in a while. Certainly. Just plants. <laughs> Over the creepy looking frogs and fat cats. Those are not creepy. 
those frogs <laughs> with the yellow eyes. <laughs> Start. We have different de definitions of creepy then, Brett. That's what we do. It's a really cool song. It's a lot of watches. I've seen a few yearbooks at different ones, but a 1952 is at least, a, that's old enough that I'm like, okay, you don't have to be so into that for that to just be an interesting piece of, you know, interesting thing to have. <laughs> So we're of course going out to eat after the flea market and mom wants to try somewhere new so we're going to this village cafe. I don't know what I think. A plate underneath it. Yeah, it's definitely uh, overfilling from the bowl, but yeah, it's fancy little croutons. Yeah, I bet they made those there. <laughs> They got a Cajun burger, which has stuff on it. Jalapenos and... Some big old burgers. Mom has breakfast. I got real food. So, uh, Mom seemed to like her food. Uh, I really thought that was not worth the cost. The salad was, was good, but not $4 good. And uh, then I think my... Burger and fries was $11, and while the toppings on the burger were good, it was a good, like, fancy, like, you know, buffalo sauce and, and jalapenos, and, and, and that part was good. The burger itself, the actual meat, was just substandard. It basically felt like a big, one of, like, the big, like, uh, just frozen patties that you can just get at the store. It didn't feel like a real quality sort of ground beef. It just sort of felt like, and looked like, it had, like, an edge, like it was just one of those frozen patties that they, you know, you get at Sam's Club. Uh, so, uh, probably not, not worth the, what, uh, $17, $18, $3, it was, what, $3 for the drink? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but it was a good amount of food, I guess, for it. Um, it was a big burger, but, yeah, just not a quality I much cared for. Mine was delicious. Yes, wonderful. She, she had really breakfast. Really wonderful. Yeah. I uh, the request I'd had, she wanted to try some new. I was like, well, I don't want to have breakfast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, perhaps it's more of a breakfast place. Oh, I uh, almost forgot that I had food cooking until I walk in the door and oh yeah, that's cooking. Yeah, definitely. Looks like it's well baked down within the uh, layer of liquid there. <laughs> That's just so many jalapenos and crushed red pepper and all that on top. It should have some good spice to it, I think. Definitely. Sort of as chicken with soy sauce is the primary aroma I think I'm getting. But yeah, that'll be, that'll be nice. A little bit for dinner, a lot for having... Really, I just, it's like if it gets two or three days worth of lunches, that's the main thing that I'm making it for. Um, just because I don't... I have the chicken already yet. It's like, might, might as well make sure I do that. Cover a few days worth of lunches. Yeah, so I got that cooking. Still, sure, at least a couple more hours on it, though. I'm not quite hungry right at this moment, but I'm getting there. And, um... This has moved on to warm, so it finished cooking. And that just looks and smells great. Um, there are two, two ways that I could basically prepare that uh, beyond what we have here. I could um, grab ramen noodle packets, just take out the noodle blocks and shove them in there. Um, maybe turn it on for just another short amount of time, get it hot enough to really cook that and have a noodle dish. Or I can do what I'm, I'm going to do and that'll be to finally make rice with my rice cooker that I got when I was getting ready to move in here before it even moved in here and I, this is the first time I'm using it. Um, 
Uh, but it should be nice. Um, either way, though, all of the chicken in here is currently on bones and needs to not be. So I gotta pick all that off, which is annoying work, but needs to be done. All right, hope, hopefully you can see this. Uh, I did one of these and I was like, oh, that is, that is amazing. So I take a tong and I pick it up and I just press down with the other one. Ta-da, bone! <laughs> Try and fish out, uh, is that it? Right there. There's that bone, and there's another spindly one. I'm gonna lose some of them. It's right there. I think I missed. There we go. From the first one. Okay. Then we move on. Grab another leg. Trying to see if I can... No, nope, it fell. <laughs> There's that one. I'm trying to minimize how much, uh... Bone... Gets lost in here. So... Woo-hoo! So to mix it up. You got rice? It's a lot of rice, but that's fine. Um, I'll put like in little containers because when obviously I'm taking this to work, I'm gonna want to have rice to take as well. So I'm just gonna scoop some out for right now. There we go. Close this so it stays warm. I can actually probably turn it off. It can start to cool down because it's going to be going in the fridge anyways. And same with this one. Now that I'm having dinner, this can be turned off as well. And we'll be fine if it starts to cool down a little bit before I put it into the fridge. So again, I have to be kind of careful with this because I might have missed some bones. But... Okay, so we got some chicken. Some very mushy jalapenos. And, hmm. I will just use the actual soup spoon to spoon out some uh, juices in there. Don't want too much, but a little bit of extra flavor, right? Okay, so uh, let's give it a shot, see how it tastes. Ooh. Immediately my thought was this is pretty mild. But it's got a nice spiky spicy kick to it once I swallowed it. So the first bite was very mild. But it's got some spice afterwards. So eh, could be better. But you know, edible. Good enough for just throwing some stuff in the pot, I guess. And yeah, no, dinner was actually quite good, actually. 
once I started eating. Um, but uh, now I've packed things up. I got two containers of rice and three containers of the chicken packed up for lunches. So that'll work. Um, I need to clean some things obviously after that. But I don't want to. Uh, it's like, would be good to get things cleaned right away. I'm just not feeling up to it. Um, <laughs> um, I, mean, I still got a bit before I have to go to bed. But really, what I think I'm going to do is go to bed. Lay down. Relax. Wait, 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 wait. I thought of something I want to do. It's going to keep me up a little bit. I, um, I've, it's now been like months since I've made brownies, but I want brownies. Really, I want something sweet, and I thought about just having another one of the, um, the freezer pop things that I have, because I have more of those, I have plenty of those, uh, but I was like, oh, that's not really what I want. I was thinking, I was like, I want ice cream or brownies. I, and, and I have time, so I'm like, I'm going to make brownies. And I, I you know, because for a while there, I was making brownies like every week. And I've, I'm definitely doing better. I'm not doing that. Because um, it's, like I said, it's been like more than a month since I made them. But I want them. And also because tomorrow's Monday, theoretically, if I think about it and remember, I can let my friends have some so I don't eat a whole pan. I might be weak and not offer them that so that I do get the whole pan. I don't know. But it's been a bit. I'm going to have brownies. Brownies sound delicious. And note to Adam. If you're editing this, don't make brownies. Don't even buy brownies right away. Let yourself get past this. Don't have brownies in the house for a bit. I know you have that second box that's the other kind of brownies. But ignore that. Don't make more. Be strong. Go another like month at least before you get more of these. Be strong. You're trying to lose weight, but also occasionally to eat brownies. Just occasionally though. And got some lovely brownies, some orange juice. Gonna have a nice dessert before bed. And I haven't had this in quite a while. I'm actually, so it's quite delicious. I need to not have brownies all that often. They're not good for me. Uh, but every so often, I think it's fine. And they do look and smell really good right now. So I'm gonna have some dessert and then finally make my way to bed. Thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues.